Well, good morning, folks, or good afternoon or good evening, depending on whereabouts in the world you are. A very warm welcome back to What's For Tea and lots of festive wishes for you. We are getting closer. So thank you very much for popping over just to check out this wee recipe. It's a slow cooker recipe, so it's going to be very, very easy. And as usual, all of the ingredients will be underneath the video in the show more box. If you want to click down there just to find out what you're going to need if you want to come back at a later date. So this is going to be a sort of pot roast beef. I'm going to be using rolled beef topside today. It's a very, very lean joint. As you can see, there is not an ounce of fat on there, but please feel free to use whatever you like, you know, brisket or sirloin or something like that with a bit more fat on it. Now, I am the only one in the house that likes sort of medium rare beef. I like beef with a wee bit of pink in it, but Billy, who is Mr. Watts for Tea and the girls, like their beef super well done almost cremated so I am going to be making mine well done today and I'm going to have mine on low for seven hours but you can obviously do this on high for three to four hours if you prefer so like I said, the beef that I'm using is rolled beef topside. Or if you're in the States, I think it's also referred to as top round beef. So yeah, if you're going into the butcher, just ask for rolled beef topside or top round beef. And mine is just under a kilo and this will serve about four to five people quite generously. So the first thing we're going to do is get the rub ready for the beef. So just some salt and pepper and some olive oil, really simple, into a bowl. And then you just want to drop your beef in and give everything a good rub in because this is a very, very lean cut of beef. If you're using something like, you know, brisket or sirloin or something, you won't need to add the oil because it will have a fair bit of, you know, fat on it. And the fat from that will cook your beef. So you won't have to add any additional oil. But I am because it's extremely lean. So so into a very, very hot pan. My pan was almost smoking. And you just want to sear this in all of your sides and top and bottom until it's got a good bit of colour on there. This is just going to give your gravy and your beef a beautiful, deep, rich flavour. This won't take long, probably about five minutes, but do make sure your pan is smoking hot and you shouldn't need any additional oil other than the oil that you've already rubbed on. And I was quite happy with this. As you can see, it has a good bit of colour there. So over to your slow cooker and I'm using a three and a half litre crock pot. And to that, I'm going to add some carrots and an onion and then some corn flour. And this is going to help thicken your gravy. Just give that a good stir through to make sure everything is coated. Once you're happy, you can add in your beef. Just sort of nestle it in to your veggies there. And then you can grab your stock. This is 500 ml of beef stock. You can use whatever kind of beef stock you like. And then a wee bottle of red wine. This is one of those wee miniature bottles. It works out about a quarter bottle or 187 ml. I just used Merlot. Pop that in and then your three tablespoons of tomato puree. Give that a wee stir in to the wine and the stock and then you can pop in your sugar again just give it a wee stir around with a spoon so pop your lid on and like i said it depends you know if you like your meat medium well done or rare but if you're going to cook it on low between six and seven hours or on high for three to four hours and this was me seven hours later like i said i have done this one super well done just to suit everybody else i mean i can eat it like this but i do prefer it with a wee bit of pink but yeah the majority the majority wins so set this to the side for about half an hour and I used a meat thermometer and as you can see there it's 71 degrees which means it's just over well done but your other temperatures are there you know if you like it medium or rare. So now whilst we're waiting on that rest and you can go and do your gravy. So all you've got really to do to this is thicken it up to you know however thick you like it. So I've added another three tablespoons and I've grabbed some of the liquid from the slow cooker and just made it into a kind of paste. Just make sure it is well mixed in. You don't want any lumps in there. And once it's nice and smooth, just pop that back into your gravy and give it a good stir together. And this was absolutely perfect for me. You can see those carrots and onions in there. I mean, you could blend this if you like, or, you know, pass it through a sieve if you just wanted the smooth gravy. 
And once your beef has had its rest in time, you can either use a carving knife or I'm using an electric knife and you can see how easily that is slicing there. And that's the beauty of using the top side as well. If you use brisket or something like that, it does have a tendency to sort of all break apart. So yeah, as you can see, super well done. But this is so tender. It is melt in the mouth tender. I mean, you pop your gravy on top, it just makes everything so unctuous and melt in the mouth. And we had some garden peas, some onions and carrots from the slow cooker. I made a quick root vegetable mash with carrot and turnip and potato and some, uh, some roasted potatoes on this side. And that was absolutely delicious. Before I move on, I wanted to say, as usual, a big thank you to the supporters of the channel over on my Patreon page. And I will be back over there at some point in the next couple of days. And also to the new channel members here on YouTube. So thank you very much, guys, as I always say. And it's absolutely true. You know, it's very much appreciated that you're over there and supporting what I'm doing over here. And also to the new channel members. And thank you as well for watching and liking and commenting and all of the, you know, wonderful things that you do and your shares you know it doesn't go unnoticed and I do try and read and respond to as many of your comments as I can but I'm sure you can appreciate now there's just so many of them there are nearly a hundred thousand of you out there now which absolutely blows my mind so thank you all once again and thank you for spending the last 10 minutes with me and I hope you've a brilliant rest of your day you know and you're managing in what are quite crazy times at the moment. So until I see you again, guys, mind to take care of yourselves and don't forget to pop back on Sunday if you've entered that giveaway because I'm going to be announcing the winner of your Christmas giveaway as well. So hopefully I'll see you back here off a soon, back here on What's For Tea. Bye now.